What is up, everyone? Corn O'Keefe back yet again. And as the title implies, I'm bringing you a power scaling video, folks. In today's video, I'll be power scaling God, aka Chuck, from Supernatural. But before we fully get down to business, I'd like to give a huge shout out and thanks to the HQ squad, as well as the Crusaders of Verity. Shout out to Captain Forrest, shout out to Corimbus, and the entirety of both teams. Make sure you go check out their channels, subscribe, and leave some likes. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get down to business. God, initially known as Chuck Shirley, is an ancient primordial being who created the universe and virtually everything it contains, including the human soul. Amora, his twin sister, is the only entity who is relative, if not greater, than Chuck's own power. Together, God and the darkness serve as the balance in the universe, as the dark cannot exist without the light, and vice versa. If either one of them is lost or destroyed, existence itself would cease. His sister couldn't resist destroying whatever God created. So God created four archangels, and with them by his side, waged war against her and eventually locked her away with a mark that he entrusted to his most loved and valued angel, Lucifer. However, over time, after God created the universe, the mark corrupted Lucifer and drew him to rebel when God created humankind. After Lucifer was bound in hell and Gadriel was locked away in heaven's dungeon, God left heaven and went into seclusion on earth. Well, how about we go ahead and move on down the line and talk about Chuck's phenomenal power. As we know, Chuck created the entirety of the physical universe. Oh, but it doesn't stop there, folks. You see, Chuck created multiple spiritual realities, purgatory, hell, and heaven. Each spiritual reality has a completely different flow of time than the physical universe. For example, one month on Earth, is roughly 30 years in hell. Bobby Singer directly stated that time is different in heaven. Heaven is also a place where the true nature of angels and archangels can exist. This is important because humans aren't able to comprehend the true nature of angels and archangels. This is one of the reasons why angels and archangels need a physical human vessel, as it allows them to interact with humans without inherently harming them. We also know hell is capable of containing the Archangel Lucifer's true nature. God's influence extends throughout all of the supernatural multiverse, existing everywhere and nowhere, to the edge of the universe and beyond. He's unimaginably more powerful than the Archangels that he created, as well as Castiel. But not just any Castiel. I'm talking about Castiel when he was amped by numerous purgatory souls. The Archangel Gabriel created TV Land, a parallel universe that contains the realities of over 300 TV shows. He also easily dissolved this same structure with a thought. It's been stated by Dean that an alternate version of the Archangel Michael is capable of destroying an alternate universe. When Castiel was amped by numerous purgatory souls, he completely obliterated the Archangel Raphael with a snap of his fingers. He also stated that he's capable of destroying hell if he so desired. Something more impressive than this, God is superior to an entity known as the Shadow. The Shadow is the ruler and the personification of the empty. A primordial void of nothingness that predates and encompasses all of existence while residing outside of it entirely. Chuck is the writer of Supernatural and his totality essentially views all of existence as fiction. In season 15, Chuck fused together with Amora and entered a state of pure balance, personifying both the light and the darkness, vastly increasing his power in the process. It's stated that he's capable of resetting all of reality in this state. Chuck has more to offer than just power, though. Thanks to being the creator god of Supernatural, he has a plethora of abilities at his disposal. 
for starters, he has complete control over space and time and can manipulate both of them however he wants. He can manipulate matter, at least on a subatomic level. He can manipulate souls, death, causality. He can manipulate the mind, the laws of reality. Heck, he created an alternate universe where magic is non-existent. And supernatural entities such as angels are turned into normal humans by stepping into it. On top of all this, Chuck can manipulate the plot and narrative. He did write the first 14 seasons of Supernatural, after all. Chuck knows practically everything that occurs in the universe, and is capable of seeing all. Even if he doesn't know something, he's capable of willing himself into knowing, such as when he gave himself the ability to play guitar. So, how powerful is Chuck? Well, based off what was said earlier in the video, I'd say it's safe to say he ranges anywhere from 4 to 5D. In other words, low multiversal, full on multiversal, to low complex multiversal. Possibly far higher depending on your interpretation when it comes to the empty and how you go about it. Remember what I said about the empty? It's a primordial void of nothingness that predates all of existence and resides outside of it entirely. So you could argue that it predates the actual concepts of time and space and resides outside of them entirely. To support this even further, you could argue that the totality of Chuck essentially views the concepts of space and time as fiction. But let me know what you all think down below. Oh. And I recommend watching Supernatural, if you haven't already. As always, have a blessed day, folks. Peace!